Stitch and flip is a technique where you stitch on the diagonal and then you cut off the excess and then, and then when you open it, you have the corner, the stitch and the contrasting fabric. That's the method I use in my easiest ever method for making half square triangles or flying geese or other triangle pieces. But it's also used to snowball a quilt block where you put a triangle onto each corner and it's used in other techniques as well. This is a great technique. It's really easy to do and it doesn't take a lot of fancy calculations, but it does end up with a lot of waste because in this situation, you would be throwing away almost half of this piece. If you're worried about the waste, there's an easy way that you can get bonus half square triangles from this technique. And that's when you're stitching, you stitch from corner to corner on the diagonal as usual, but then you would stitch about three eighths to half an inch, it doesn't have to be exact, away from that. So you're stitching two parallel lines instead of just one. One goes from corner to corner and one goes three eighths to a half an inch away from that line. Once the two lines of stitching have been done, then you're just gonna cut apart between the lines. And this cutting doesn't have to be exact because your stitching is done, so you don't need a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. So when you open it up, you have your half square triangle that you're originally making. And then you'll have a bonus half square triangle that is a bit smaller. So this now can be trimmed to whatever size you can use. If you find making a bunch of bonus triangles is actually kind of stressful because now you have something else that's stacked up waiting for something to do, don't feel obligated to make bonus triangles. If you don't want to make bonus triangles, you can always just take the triangles that are cut off and donate them to a scrappy quilter friend. But if you want to use these in another project, this is a great way to get bonus half square triangles when you're piecing something else. For more quilting tips and tricks, be sure to follow Ebita Studio. Thank you.